Disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this episode are those of the GOAT, or the greatest of all Titos, and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of all Titos or uncles around the world. Possibly a few, but definitely not all. I've been thinking about the best place or the best type of job that anybody, no, scrap that, that everybody should start from. Let's talk about that. Hey, come on, start your Tito E-Boy, also known as the GOAT or the greatest of all Titos, and welcome to the channel. Um, it's a it's a realization that I've that I've actually known for a while, and a lot of people talk about it, and I don't think it has ever been mentioned in a video before. If it's your first time to work, regardless if it's you're getting yourself into like a family business or fresh out of college or fresh out of high school or or just stop studying and decided that you wanted to work or you needed to work basta anything that that has to do with work and you're thinking where to start you should start from from any from from basically customer service in all shape of, or form whether it is customer service in the call center or the BPO space uh, whether it's uh, customer service in the food industry whether it's uh, wait staff ka, cook staff ka, or any staff you know any uh, shape or form Upon customer service sales um, before you decide na you want to get into the family business or you want to be your own boss or you want to be a freelancer or you want to be um, somebody who works from home stuff like that it is highly recommended by, by me at least that you start off at least two years two to three years in customer service in any capacity I have worked with a lot of people who don't have the patience who don't have the the humility they're not humble mayabang paminsan and it's because wala silang manners and the best place to learn at the again in my opinion is to work in customer service if you even if sabi mo mahina loob mo sa ganyan it's a good place to start kasi yung as what the Americans say it puts a little hair in your chest meaning yung nagpapatapang sa'yo yung nagpapabu nagpapa it teaches you it teaches you to value your work it teaches you to be respectful to others not just people who are who have like a lower salary salary grade than you but you know to be more respectful to everyone and the reason why i'm saying two to three years as opposed to like some you would say why not one year I have, again, I have worked with a lot of people who only stayed in the industry for one year or who only worked in customer service for one year. Pero wala pa rin. Masama pa rin ugali. Bastos pa rin. It's a good learning and humbling experience to work in customer service. Again, if you want to be... Kasi, again, kasi nga may mga tao na may sariling negosyo, either caterer ka or freelance, what not. Wala kang sense of... I mean, I've, again, I have dealt with a lot of people who started out, may sarili ng negosyo, hindi na sila nagtrabaho as or for someone or under someone and they're not professional. Even not just in the workspace, but also in a personal level. Kunyari, makikipagkita, may usapan, gato oras. And there is always, there will always be that one person in your circle of friends who will always be late. 
I'm not saying that I'm a perfect person, but I'm best din na lilig din ako. But I try my best to come on time. And there are a lot of times, uh, there are a lot of occasions where I do come on time or even come in early. But they're like, you know, you know that one person na, kahit anong gawin, kahit anong palusot, kahit anong sabihin mo, parating malilig. Kung nari, may usapan alas 4. Isa set nyo ng 3 o'clock in meeting time. Pass for pa rin narating. So, yeah. That's my thought on that. Yeah. The best place to learn anything is to get yourself into customer service. Again, in all in shape or form. Nakastress? <laughs> Because we are like, ah, what's being with somebody na get no, or working with somebody na ganon? Hmm. So, by the time this video goes live, it's gonna be the start of a new week. Uh, week 11, if I'm not mistaken, of the calendar. And, uh, Monday the 13th. <laughs> A lot of people, a lot of students I know did not go to school the whole week last week because of the transport strike and also yung water shortage natin. Um, I think everything has died down already. So tomorrow back to normal na po tayo lahat. Back to work, back to school. Yeah. Interesting. I'm also looking into doing more food reviews. Like simula dyan sa moms, like what I posted the other day. And I want to do more of that. So if you are a, uh, a startup or a small-time food business, let's, uh, let's, let's collaborate. I'm not gonna accept freebies. I'm gonna buy those items out of my own money. So that I can be honest naman sa mga review. Wala nang ano. I'm not libre libre. Let me pay for it. I'm willing to pay for it. Just hit me up in the comments below. Or send me a DM in my other socials. I am very active in Instagram and Twitter. I check for DMs often. So I think that's the best place where you can get in touch with me. So that's it for today's video. Bawi-bawi na ako from yesterday. See you all tomorrow.